Thank you so much for my team over here reminding me. We are going to talk about bottom feeder today. I said I was going to share the bottom feeder uh, data uh, from the analyst team. We've been studying, we've developed a new indicator and strategy called the bottom feeder. Uh, so the bottom feeder. Uh, so let's talk about it. So um, over the last few years, my team has gotten much better at programmatically implementing rules-based strategies um, and uh, indicator-based strategies into code, right? Uh, whether we're talking Python or whether we're talking Pine, and the programming language that I've become proficient in myself is Pine. This is, uh, this is a good focus of the course. We cover Pine. We're going to add much more to this over time, but we do cover how to backtest your PTP strategy in Pine programmatically so far, and we will only continue to add to that and eventually add things like Python as well. Um, and you guys know that we are trend following traders. We are trend following traders by profession. Um, and the reason why is because that's going to give you the highest probability of success. Bitcoin is a trending asset. Why are you trading reversals? Okay. However, you don't, you know, something that's very interesting as you become a trader is that you begin to realize that you don't, you can make money in all sorts of counterintuitive ways all sorts of counterintuitive ways. All you have to do is have a technically proficient strategy that performs well in the market and you can make money. That's your job. You know, everybody comes into the market and initially they think that they have to catch these movements. You don't really have to. Uh, you know, look at market making strategies. They don't care which way price goes up, down, left, right, or sideways. They just want there to be volatility. That's how they make money and they make money hand over fist. And you need high frequency and you need a programmatic edge and you need capital to be able to do that. That's the, you know, it's probably the most competitive field in, in the business uh, as far as cryptocurrency goes. If you guys think that, I think that, uh, you guys think that swing trading is cutthroat, man, go hang out with a market maker. Um, so we're always looking to improve our edge, right? This is what I tell all of my students build your higher time frame trend following system for this asset class and get profitable doing that it's not difficult to do i'll walk you through it after you've done that look for unique opportunities to add to your profit factor okay this is how you build a discretionary system i've gone over this so much you build a mechanical system first right trend lines price action, swing failure patterns, support and resistance, supply and demand, volume profile, um, open interest, liquidations, uh, uh, funding rates, all of that stuff. It's discretionary. It's discretionary. I have no problem. Some, some of my best friends are discretionary traders. I take discretionary trades, but there is a difference here. I didn't start there. I started by building a mechanical rules-based strategy. And that is the proper route. In my opinion, I am more convinced of that than anything I've ever been in my life. Now that I've educated hundreds of traders, how to do what I do, you build a mechanical rules-based strategy where you execute like a machine. There is no thinking. There is no emotion. There is no discretion. You do what the system tells you to do, right? And I lay out how to do all of that in PTP. That's what you built. But while you're building it, you will notice things that interest you. Okay. And as you notice those things, you write them down. And once you've built a profitable mechanical strategy, you go back to your list of notes and you say, hmm, let me go back test these interesting ideas to the best of my ability and see how well this pattern plays out and how well I can write a rules-based set around it. Eventually, over time, by doing that, you will notice patterns in the market that you uniquely notice that you find have a high probability to return results profitable results. And that is how you build, you have mechanical strategy over here. And then over here, you build discretionary rules-based strategy. Okay. Means that it takes your discretion to execute a trade. It's not an objective signal, but you have rules based around this, probably with your stop and target system and exactly, you know, what needs to happen within this realm of discretion for you to actually enter into a trade and how you'll manage it. Right. Generally, the most important things there are going to be invalidation, right? Let's say you take a discretionary trade. You have to have the discipline that if price hits your invalidation level, you get out of the trade, right? The biggest problem with discretionary traders is that they hold losers and they take profit too early. Right? Common problem. PTP solves this. Bitcoin fixes this. Uh, so anyways, uh, in that same vein, an indicator and strategy that we've developed off of our specific noti um, noticing nuances in the market is called the bottom feeder. 
And, you know, this wouldn't have really been, um, uh, this wouldn't have really been possible. Uh, I'm actually going to show you guys both. This really would not have been possible uh, without um, uh, developing Minx, which is probably our most uh, popular indicator. Uh, Minx is kind of interesting in that it can also trade uh, it's a great trend following strategy, but it can also trade reversals. Uh, so we have two implementations of the bottom feeder strategy. We have a conservative uh, and aggressive. Um, the aggressive trades about twice as much and it returns about twice as much uh, net profit, um, but it has 3% higher drawdown. Uh, the more conservative strategy uh, only has a max drawdown of 5% over a two year period, uh, but it returns uh, it returns about 62% of the profit. So I'll just show you guys this. Um, this is this is accounting for position size. Um, I, I've been doing back tests for a long time. Uh, the, the problem with most people who write strategy testers is that they, they're completely unrealistic as all results. They're not accounting for things. They're not optimizing for drawdown. They're not position sizing. Uh, they're, they're actually, if you don't know how to write strategies in TradingView, TradingView strategy tester will actually let you trade money you don't have. And this completely throws out your results. So most people just do not know their way around a strategy tester. This is something that I'm working on educating all my students on how to do. Again, that's already incorporated in the scripts that I've already provided that's already incorporated in there. So largely I've solved this problem for them. Uh, but the big thing is position sizing. Uh, so this is, I'll show you guys um, bottom feeder 0 0.1. Uh, this is the daily time frame we are testing here from uh, January 1st, 2018 to January 1st, 2020. Uh, and this returns 86 point, it's, it's profitable 86.15% of the time. That's how many times it's right. Has a profit factor of 5.247, max drawdown of 5.05%, average trades about 1.35%. It takes about 65 trades in that two year period. So that's only about 32 and a half trades per year. Um, and that's fine. It's not a frequent trader. It is not a bottom caller. It's a bottom feeder. You're nibbling off the bottoms and it's just right almost all the time. Uh, so that's good. That's great returns. 87.57% over a two year period. You've beat every other known market in the world. Uh, and uh, almost, I mean, very little drawdown compared to your capital. The more aggressive has a little bit higher drawdown of about 8%, returns twice, almost twice as much profit, though. 159%. Trades more frequently, though. Trades almost uh, more than twice. Now, this has market fees included. So again, uh, we are scaling out with limit orders. Uh, we're entering market. We are exiting with limits. So uh, there is the kind of counterbalance there. Remember that on leveraged exchanges, we're going to get paid to set limit orders and we're going to pay at the set market order. So uh, roughly the same here, though, obviously with that little bit of higher drawdown, we do pay a little bit more. Uh, we do lose a little bit of profit factor there. So stepping down from 5.247 to 4.677. Um, this is a strategy that I'm currently running live on my account. And the way that this works is this does not replace your primary PTP strategy. This is just a tertiary strategy that we will offer to our members, uh, something that they can add to their charts that eventually they will be able to automate. That's a service we will provide. And um, this is just something that you allocate capital to. And it just once in a while, you get a trade, you get a signal and... It's a good addition. And, and over time, you will build these discretionary strategies that add up to form somewhat of a basket of discretionary systems, right? So that you're always active. You're going to have market specific discretionary strategies. You're going to have sector specific discretionary strategies. You're going to have broad, uh, sp you know, you're going to have broad, all market encompassing uh, discretionary strategies. And then you're going to have uh, market specific trend following systems, mechanical systems, and you're going to have broad mechanical systems. This is this is, I mean, this is what it's like to be uh, to be a strategy builder and trade programmatically and trade um, based off of rules rather than, hey man, like I really feel like price is gonna fall right now. Lesson one, man, you, you don't know as much about the market as you think you do, you know? I, I tell myself that all the time. I tell myself that all the time. When I enter into trades, I know that it's not because I'm smarter than the market because I'm not and you're not, but my, but my system is, but my system is. My system is smarter than me. Uh, so anyways, I hope to have that up on TradingView. Uh, there's only um, one thing that I need to do. I actually have the, I'm going to be publishing both strategies combined into one. So I need to combine both the strategies into one script. Uh, so I'll do that. I should have that actually done tonight. And then I have the study right here. And this is how it works. Here's the study. And what I will do is... Uh, I'm going to, I already have uh, the line drawing in V4. TradingView still has an issue with V4 right now. I don't know what's wrong with their server. Um, I have a support ticket open with them, but I'm but I, I just going to bug them more until they actually solve it. That's how I've gotten them to solve all my problems. I'll just keep calling, all right? Solve my problem or I'll just keep calling. Um, but I will update the, um, 
Uh, I'll, I'll put a drop down in there if you want V3 plotting or V4 plotting. And then that'll be done. So I'll publish uh, to the premium members. This will be a invite only indicator on trading view. You have to be a premium member to get access. Uh, but I will offer, uh, uh, I will put up both the strategy testers so that you can back test it yourself. And then I will also put up the studies so that you guys can trade it live on your charts. And then there's uh, there's alerts in this. So you guys can already set this up with something like AutoView or GunBot or whatever system that you're utilizing to trade, cut three commas, for example. Um, but eventually we'll offer that service. So, uh,